Have you ever opened the freezer to grab a bite of ice cream only to realize the pint was full of... Huh, nothing. So instead you drive down to your local ice cream joint. Was there parking up there? Uh, I feel like there's not, and now I'm just gonna get dumped back on the street. Oh, there was, yes. Oh, and it's in the shade too, nice. I, I think we're gonna have to make our own ice cream. I'm not going in there. Hello, it's William Osmond here with Morgan Ryan, and today we're gonna build an ice cream machine out of an exercise bike. More like today and tomorrow. You gotta keep your potty mouth shut, okay? Yes, sir. Cameraman and John and I, no, no, I dragged it up the hill. Cameraman and John just filmed and watched me struggle. You might need to help me. This is really heavy, and this hill is really steep. I can't help but feel like you are mocking me sometimes with the hand gestures. <laughs> I want to go forward. I really honestly don't know how this is gonna work. We'll put the bucket somewhere here. It'll be full of ice. There'll be another bucket in it. Hopefully something metal. Do we crank the inner bucket or do we crank like a paddle inside of the bucket? Does that make any sense here? I actually, I found this in the trash. It spins the ladle. Or what do we, what is this? A paddle? It's a paddle. A stirry stirring? A stirring stirrer? A stirrer? A stirrer. Can, we can move the outer container and leave this stationary so it kind of spins in there. Or we can spin this. I don't really know what's easier. Are you still doing this? Just that? let me struggle. People have been asking about laser haircut and... The first and last laser haircut? Was given to Morgan. Yeah. We want to put like a gear on this. Oh, this is going to be actually, I think, a lot easier than I originally <laughs> thought. We could just drill into there and tap holes. Probably. Or we could put a big gear on it and then center it and zip tie it on. So we need a couple of things. A metal bucket about this big and what was the other thing? And then a plastic bucket about this big for the ice. So you get enough light. Are you playing drums right now? All right. Wait, we need this back here. Ice bucket, cream bucket. These are gonna go like here relative to the bike, I'm thinking. Sounds good, something sure. like that. And then we'll, this'll be like our drive shaft. And so we need to like put a gear on here that drives this and then here, which somehow spins the paddle. Ooh. Do you wanna measure it? Oh my god. I can really? do it too. Yeah, I want you to I want you to take part in this. I mean you want me, you want me I'm giving you like pity tasks. How thick is the bridge? Um, Just measure the thickness of it. I'm trying. From the outside to the inside, not the diameter. We're gonna cut a crappy gear out of crappy plywood. So it's say it. Yeah, you gotta clean up my mess. No, I'm not cleaning up your mess. You have to, that's no, part I of the job. I bought you Taco Bell. <laughs> we gotta take that off. Do you wanna do that? And the whole thing comes out. Sweet. Here, take these, camera. Uh, drill, drill, drill. This is right here. Thank you. Oh, yes. Ooh. Dude, zip ties are the future of power transmission. <laughs> All right, that was the easy part. How do we put more gears on it? Do we just leave this out here in the driveway? See why not? Someone's gonna steal this. I doubt it. See ya it tomorrow. Out. It's yes, it's tomorrow. Um, okay, we have some CAD. I like we do every time. This is half of a model. It looks like a salad spinner. Let's cut some of these pieces here and then just kind of laser time. You see that? I honestly don't think that was a good use of 10 minutes. I actually think this took less time to cut out than 10 minutes. Is any of this plywood food safe? That goes into the bucket, so that goes into there. I 
if you had like one of these gears like this and then kind of cut it more of like an angle profile. Ow. Huh? No, dude, look at this. This is fantastic. It works. Oh. We'll see you tomorrow at the meetup. Man, people are still gonna, they're gonna, this thing's gonna be so broken. Yeah, so what did we do last night? Actually, Morgan didn't help last night. Thanks, Morgan. Anything that touches the food, we covered in like a like butcher block conditioner to make the dirty plywood somewhat food grade. And, oh, we cut a different gear. I made a little lid with, uh, which should cover the ice cream from getting salt water and bees in it. Then laminated it with packing tape. But let's put it together right now. Okay, do we do the milk first or the ice first? Ice, ice first. Let's do the ice first. Yep. Morgan, you wanna help with the ice? Grab the ice. And then Alan, just again. Try not pedal while you guys are Yes, doing don't. This. Just sit there and look pretty. <laughs> prettier! Prettier, Alan! Be prettier! There we go. I hope everyone's looking forward to drinking cold milk and cream with some sugar in it. Maybe some splinters. Just half of that bag. Half? Or a quarter. Oh, two okay. pounds? When I make a quart of ice cream, yeah. I only put two tablespoons of sugar. Okay. It feels good. It feels good. Fear <laughs> is only disengaging completely. <laughs> All right, we're cheating. We bought dry ice. I, th I think we may have underestimated how much ice it takes to cool a gallon and a half of milk. I mean, you did. I just kind of showed up. It looks like foamy milk, Yay. which is my favorite flavor of ice cream. You get a little clear. I think it's a matter of how much energy you actually need to suck out of that to make it ice cream. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Milk. We got kind of like a yeah, like there's something. a solid frost. Oh my god! It's totally like frozen though. Get that solid part. This off. is exactly what the, like the agitation is supposed to prevent. Oh god! I, ah! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Pedal! Pedal! Oh wait, no! Wasted! I that was actually ice cream. Wait, no, Alan, hold the hold the ladle. Put the gear on. The pedaling does nothing without the gear. Wait, no, hold I gotta I gotta rescue this first. No. It's gonna be salty. Here eat we it. go, though. I'm Here. gonna eat it. I'm oh. not wasting ice cream. You're, you worked so hard for this. That's the first taste. How is it? Wow. Mm, that's ice cream. Really? It's yeah. It's really bad ice cream. That's ice cream texture, I guess. We gotta eat it. Yeah. Don't, don't just rub it. Yeah, Can we eat it? Yeah, eat it. Here, hold on, flip it over. <laughs> flip it over. There's a good guy. Oh, God. Do you want to eat? How do we get? What is this? It's like a giant it's lump. A solid. Block. Block. There you go. Oh, right, oh, there right. you go. Oh, yeah. Do you want sprinkles? What? Wait. Do you want sprinkles? Are you? Oh, ah! Okay. There you go. There you go. There's your. Own me. <laughs> or mayo, maybe like mayo. Like this is just what homemade ice cream tastes like. Oh, um, cones. Call me, David. Cones are getting worse and worse. <laughs> ice cream. I'll take this. Okay. Special guest. Uh, the oh, there's some stuff at the bottom too. Skip off that. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> This is a mess. <laughs> this is the best ice cream day ever. It's not bad. Does he look like he's gonna bite me right now? No. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh. Hmm. Thanks to special guest Alan Pan. And subscribe to Sufficiently Advanced. Oh God. And You're special guest Morgan out. Ryan for helping, and for everyone who showed up to eat this terrible ice cream. <laughs> Does anybody want to take that like gallon and a half or gallon of ice cream home? Okay, bye! Is that good? We found it on the side of the road, and we dragged it all the way up the hill for you. I almost died. And I'm supposed to work out out here. Yeah, that way no one sees you. doesn't work. <laughs> Wait, something's happening. Click. Look, it's like shady back here too. <laughs>